everyone, my name is Grace and today I am going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is Dreams Come True. Joseph raised the power. Let's read the story. Joseph served Potiphar well. Potiphar's wife wanted Joseph to sin against God. Joseph refused, so she lied about him. Potiphar believed her, and Joseph was thrown into the prison. Potiphar's wife like, wanted to sin, Joseph to sin against God, so like, but Joseph didn't. So, Potiphar's wife has lied bad things. So, Joseph has gone into the prison. Potiphar's wife is not good. In the prison, Joseph met two of Pharaoh's servants. They each had a dreams, and God showed Joseph their meaning. Joseph's explanation came true. The cupbearer was released, and the baker was hanged. So Joseph met met two prisoners and this uh, prison. It was a cup bear and the breaker and they each had a dreams. The cup bear will do his work again and the baker will be hanged. <laughs> two years later, Paro had two troubling dreams. The cupbearer remembered what Joseph has done for him and told Paro so Paro sent for Joseph and told him his dreams. So Paro had two troubling dreams. Actually, I cannot understand because, like, I know some dreams can be come true, but not that means not all the dreams. And the cupbearer kindly remembered Joseph and tell Potiphar that Joseph can serve your dream. God showed Joseph the meaning of Paro's dream. For seven years, a lot of food will grow, said Joseph. So store up food. Food because seven years of famine will follow. So God but help Joseph to uh, serve the meaning of the dream. And what the meaning was, like seven years, it will be good years. And the day they should uh, store 
the food has seven bad ears. Feynman will follow. What is the word? Actually, I want to also hear what God is saying to me. Question. God help Joseph understand. Oh, sir. Help Joseph understand the meaning of the dreams. True. God has helped him. So he could tell Parker. Paro was impressed by Joseph's wisdom. So he put Joseph in charge of stor storing up all the food. Apart from Paro, no one in Egypt who was more powerful than Joseph. So God, you can't think like that. Because of God has blessed Joseph, and Joseph was in Egypt, so God also blessed the Egypt. And Paro was impressed of Joseph's wisdom, and he put charge of store, storing all food. Oh, that is a very, you know, a big hand. Like, they're walking slowly. They're walking slowly after. Joseph's brother went to Egypt to buy food. They bowed before Joseph, but did not recognize him. When he saw that they had changed, he told them who he was. So, like, there was a long story. Like, they were... Joseph was testing the brothers that they will they are like changed or not but they were changed like they were going like they have tried to save benjamin so joseph told who he was <laughs> question what did paro put joseph in charge of number one soldiers I guess number two, no, no, no. the animals. Number three, the food, right? The brother were terrified. You make me hurt me, Joseph said. But God used that for good, bringing all of our family to Egypt. We will have plenty to eat. So like they were terrified because Joseph was very high position. Like Joseph can kill the brothers or something. Or they brought their brothers can be slave. But Joseph was saying, you mean to harm me. But God used for good. Chair, sorry. <laughs> Joseph, I crossed. Cr <laughs> sorry, question. Joseph's brother, me. To harm him, but God brought the good out of it. True. Yes, today I read the Bible story to the inside, and next time I will read another good stories. Then let's see you next time. Bye!